Then, Within parenteral nutrition as an intervention, there are two major forms of treatment. They are peripheral parenteral nutrition, or PPN, and central parenteral nutrition, also known as CPN. The major difference between PPN and CPN is with the type of vascular access device that is used to deliver nutrients. PPN is infused into a small vein that is usually located on the forearm or the back of the hand. CPN is infused into a large vein with the end position close to the heart in the distal third of the superior vena cava. A major difference between peripheral and central venous catheters is that peripheral catheters are easy to dislodge and difficult to maintain, whereas central catheters are more durable and easier to maintain for long periods. This is one reason why PPN is recommended for infusions lasting for less than two weeks, while CPN is recommended for all infusions lasting for more than two weeks. If it is initially unclear how long parenteral nutrition will be needed, a patient can be started on PPN, which can serve as a bridge to CPN at a later time. Another difference between peripheral and central venous catheters is that peripheral catheters are more prone to complications like parenteral nutrition-induced phlebitis and extravasation. The primary reason for this is that a peripheral vein can only withstand a certain amount of osmolarity, or concentration for a solution. That level is somewhere near 900 milliosmoles per liter, and so it is recommended that a PPN solution does not exceed this value. Since nutrients like dextrose, amino acids, and electrolytes contribute to the osmolarity, this limitation makes it difficult to meet the nutritional demands with PPN. This is particularly true if the patient has a fluid restriction and or high nutrient needs. Fortunately, CPN bypasses this issue. The high volume blood flow of a large vein rapidly dilutes the parenteral nutrition solution without issue, even at an osmolarity greater than 1000 making it easier and safer to satisfy the estimated nutritional demands. Overall, the ability to squeeze a lot of nutrients into a small volume, paired with a lower concern for phlebitis and extravasation, makes CPN the more desirable option across a wide range of patient populations. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more content just like this.